Go on. Is it more? Yeah. All right. Yeah, but yeah, your chat's full. You're good. Okay. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Um, I, I, I can't believe it. Uh, well, there's part of it, you know, whenever I told you, the Lord had me last night interceding for President Trump. And he said, he said, Brandon, they will do it today. You must intercede. And I was up all night praying for him and I was in, and interceding. I mean, it was, it was heavy intercession. And he said, he told me, he said, the prophecy that you gave about the ear will come to pass. And the, and the bullet grazed his ear. It busted his ear. Just like I told everybody, I saw blood flowing down his face. And the Lord said he would be spared. And when this happens, there would he would become radically born again because the Lord spared his life today. And he would become baptized in the Holy Ghost, radically saved by the power of God. And I'm telling you, great revivals come into America. This is another example of God's hand on, on 45. You've, you, we've seen it, it just happened. It just happened. This is exactly what I prophesied. And it manifested even to the earlobe that they missed him and it grazed his ear and busted his eardrum. And I'm telling you all, God's hand in mercy is on this nation. There, it's still, there's gonna be some hard days ahead, y'all, but I'm telling you, a massive revival is about to break forth in this land. And we're going to see one of the greatest harvest of souls this world has ever seen before. Hey, you all, welcome to Pearls of Eden. I hope that you all are having a wonderful Sunday. I know there's a lot going on in current news and I've been kind of quiet about it, um, but I didn't want to speak until the Lord gave me reason to speak, right? There's a lot of people I feel, you know, we can so easily promote ourselves. Look what God showed me and we can get excited about prophecy being fulfilled, but we never want to forget, we don't idolize prophecy. We, we glorify God who is so merciful that when prophecy comes true, we glorify him and we have to make sure that we don't put the glory on ourselves, right? And so I want to say, uh, send my condolences for the family who lost a father, a husband. They were just going for an event, going to see Donald Trump speak. Never in a million years did I, did they presume that they would lose their loved one but they did so my prayers are for that family for supernatural peace um when you look at the video it's so it just shows you the sovereign power of god as donald trump is turning his head right here within milliseconds you see the bullet just graze his ear and if he didn't turn his head it would have been over right but it just goes to show you that if it's not your time to go, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> and this man has been persecuted on every level, from the courtroom, to his personal life, to trying to assassinate him. If this doesn't make you wake up, I don't know if you will ever wake up. You may just stay asleep, right? <laughs> but I want to introduce you to this prophet named Brandon Biggs. And when I tell you, he prophesied this event down to the T. I am just finding out about him, you know, because of course, you know, it is just making the waves, right? But he's so humble. And one of the things that really struck a chord with me is that he said the power of intercession. How many people did God show that an assassination attempt would happen? And how many of the saints were faithful in prayer? God doesn't just show us things for us to, you know, talk about it, but he wants us to intercede. And when I heard him say about Abraham, if there be but five, it just struck a chord with me because that's something that the Lord has really been speaking to me about how we have to move into intercession and not accusation, intercession. And um, there were a lot of things about his prophecy that spoke to me personally because it was a lot of confirmation. So I'm just going to get to his video um, and show you what the man of God has to say. Let's take a look a new wave of patriotism coming out and that's whenever i saw trump and i saw the i saw a, a red wave coming out of um michigan and then i saw oklahoma and there was embers of people and they were all on um these these they had torches all throughout oklahoma and they were raising up these torches that looked like fire and they were bringing forth a new patriotism upon the nation and it was coming it was being birthed and it just kept spreading like fire all throughout america all throughout and i saw Trump rising up, and then I saw an attempt on his life. Uh, that w the, this bullet flew by his ear, and it came so close to his head that it busted his drum eardrum. 
And I saw um, he was he fell to his knees during this time frame and he started worshiping the Lord. He got radically born again during this time frame. I'm talking people say he's saved now, but he becomes really on fire for Jesus for what I saw coming. And um, then I saw people interceding when he and I see him. I saw him winning the, the presidency uh, through great uh the Lord showed me it would go clear into the, the summer. Great persecution would come on him through the judges and through the um, through the law and all these people trying to sue him and all this stuff. But there would be a stop to it, and their things would start to, to to break free come toward the fall. And then I saw him winning uh, the election uh, through uh, the patriots coming out and voting. And then and then and then there will be a great economy crash. Yeah. I saw they had a great economy plan a crash yeah. worse than the uh, the uh, great depression and the lord warned me about this it would be a great dark time but i saw paddles coming upon america's soil like a shocking of the soil and i saw donald trump praying in the office of the of the oval office and he was weeping before the lord with his hands on his head like this but he was weeping and there was ministers and people i don't know if they were senators or or congress people or whatever they i just saw them pacing and back and forth inside of the uh, the um the white house and uh, and sorry the the uh, what is the white house but it's the oval office yeah. and they were interceding all inside there and i could feel the presence of the lord so strong on this and then i could see that darkness that was the heaviness upon america with the with the um the uh the financial crisis of what I saw coming, it started to lift above the trees and I saw the blue and the, and the things coming back out and the green times and the good times coming back again. But the Lord said it would be forth a, a time of a season of um, a shaking and it would be a shakening to awaken. And, and in this, there, it, this would uh, uh, basically that he was not done with America. There would be a great revival come and there's, it's, it's not all doom and gloom. That's what he said. The sky's not falling. It's just a time of, uh, it's like people would say, this is judgment. And the Lord said, do not call this judgment. It's not my judgment. It's a correction. There's a correction coming. Mm -hmm. And um, it, I, I, you know, like I said, I don't try to focus on all the doom and gloom people think I do. And I come on and prophesy about all the doom and gloom all the time. I come on here to tell you about what Jesus is going to do too. And uh, yeah, I warn you, I'm a watchman. That's my job. I warn you about what's coming. I warn you about the wealth transfer. I warn you about uh, the, the dollar collapse. I warn you about a lot of things. And um, this is another example of one of the things I told you all to pray for him, to intercede for him. And that the angels would bear him up in their hands, lest we dash our foot against a stone. That no weapon formed against him would prosper. I intercede every single day for, for, for things that the Lord gives me. And he warns me about things. And he tells me, Brandon, this is coming. This is coming. This is coming. You got to pray for the volcano in Italy. You've got to warn those people because I told you I saw a tsunami wave coming into the shore and I saw hundreds of thousands of people perishing because of the tsunami wave coming in. And I, um, I've warned everybody about that. And now those volcanoes are coming up and they're, they're, it's happening right now. And now. The major one has not happened, but, you know, but I believe, you know, like I said, y'all, we have authority. I don't come on here and, and just tell you all this stuff and just drop these things like a fortune teller. I'm trying to tell you this so we can intercede and stop the plans of the enemy.